All right, everyone, here we are with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. And we're about to talk about a stock that I've been watching since last week and why this stock was set to rise like it did today, as we could see here, and also why I believe there's some more room. And as I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now, I've been getting more confident with it and I look forward to start sharing this in the market opening in the morning. I've been watching these stocks, how they move and what's creating this move. So I do my due diligence and research beforehand and then I'm going to present it to you guys on the market morning. And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold any of the stocks I'll share, specifically even this one as I'm talking about it. I'm just here to share the knowledge and information that I've came across because sometimes these stocks are being overlooked and uh, nobody's aware of them. I use different indicators and scanners to kind of give me insight on why this stock is a good pick, whether for the week or next coming days or even the long term. So I'll always give you guys a little bit of background on what I believe about the company uh, in regards to what it is and what it does. And then also share with you guys all the technicals that are indicating that there's an opportunity. But I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold anything. You have to do your due diligence and research. And if you're one of my viewers and subscribers, this is something new. And I'm going to start doing this early on, on Mondays before the market opens. Anywhere between 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. So I want you guys to be aware of that right before the rocket rolling starts, right? The rock and rolling at 9.30. I know the market opens a little bit earlier in different brokerages, but I'm going based off of market true hours from 9.30 to 4. So I want you guys to be aware of that. Now, all investors that are first time viewers and coming across this channel, I want you guys to know that this is a great opportunity to subscribe because there's gonna be great information. I'm gonna do these weekly series here you guys are going to find value in it. And something I suggest that I've started doing myself, um, I didn't do it much before, but since I'm trying different types of uh, technical um, strategies, I would call them, right? Um, I've started paper trading. So any of you guys that don't feel comfortable with these picks because they're random and they're out of the blue, sometimes they're not even stocks that any youtuber or anyone's talking about which would make is what makes them even better um it's stocks that i've been using on my radar and some of them are actually stocks i believe in long term once i come across them and say hmm i would have overlooked that i mean when you think about a screener right a stock screener and you remove any of the letters and you look here at the matches that's 7,605 matches. There's 7,000 plus because there's way more. This is based off of three items, the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, and um, some something else that I have there to pull up most of, of the market. But there's over-the-counter stocks, penny stocks, you know, stocks above a dollar, below a dollar, all the way up to $100, above $100, in the thousands, you know, stocks that are worth just as much as the S&P 500 index or even the Dow or even more, you know, we have Berkshire Hathaway, uh, two different classes of it, the 200 to $300 one. And then we got the 280,000 one to 300,000 one, right? So you got all types of stocks, right? And um, sometimes, you know, there's a lot of hype stocks that can make you money and they're great, but there's a lot of risk involved because there's a lot of in and out going on going on and i've come to realize that those are great things to ride and maintain speculation and hope with and take advantage of the opportunities that's why they're there do your research on it and um, do your due diligence but be up to date on the hype that's there's nothing wrong with that and i'm all for it that's what drives the market speculation and hype and then it turns out to be really good or really bad but um, you always want to do your due diligence and make sure what it is that you're investing in, number one. And then number two, um, I realized that this is something more uh, secluded, quiet, and uh, quiet could sometimes be good because it gives you a little bit more time to focus in on what it is that you're looking at and why are you looking at it instead of all the noise. And that's what I like to do. 
I like to quiet down the noise. That's what I try to do about every single video that I do, every single chart analysis that I do. And um, I'm not, you know, up or down. I'm all about what are we seeing right now and what this means. Like emotions have to be detached completely, no matter how much I like the company or how much I don't like the company. Let's look at these numbers. Let's look at these bars. Let's look at where the technicals are heading and what they're showing, right? That's what I'm all about. So let, let's jump into this. Smile Direct Club. So I did my research and due diligence before um, even looking at the technicals. But let's look at the technicals first here. And I just wanted to show you guys why this ran up. And um, I believe there's still more room. And I'm going to show you guys the you know, support and resistance so that you know, you know where to kind of you know, cut it if you're paper trading or really trading, uh, it's up to you. You have to do your due diligence and research and, you know, rationalize based off of how you feel. But my best suggestion is since this is completely new to you guys and you guys may have never even thought about this or came across something like this, you want to paper trade through these videos so that you can kind of understand how these stocks work and why they're working like this and why they're working like that. Like it's, it's a big deal. This is more than just, you know, jumping in and, and, uh, you know, hoping this rises up, you know, this is not, or, you know, news and speculation. Cause these are quiet stocks. These are stocks that, you know, the float is not that high. Today's float was about 14 million stocks sold, but let's get to the indicators. So I like using these many people use others and that's fine uh there's all types of different ways to look at charts but the first thing is the macd since the 17th was starting to show that it was a recovering from being below it and it started the green bars and it actually has held above it through the 18th on the 18th it kind of leveled off but it continued the run and you could see early on on the 18th down here that it it ran up and then leading into today it's skyrocketing and it's it's continuing and if you zoom out it's kind of just like a straight upward movement now it could change quickly into this direction that's why we need to watch this because this is pretty high already compared to the recent macd runs right and um it, it can actually start like a slope which is what we need to watch for or continue the run so you want to look at the bars down here that they continue dark green they don't start getting light green but it can also have a slight pullback and then rise back up it has to like kind of consolidate and there's reasons behind this this is why i think that uh this is not just running today there's going to be room for this to continue to run i'm going to show you guys in just a second the macd is indicating that this is in profitable green area like it's in bullish area right from this point to this point in profitable area from down here at 11 all the way to where it's at okay that's what happened today from 12 to 13 but from last week in the lows and stuff back in the 16th and stuff like that was closer to uh wednesday uh it was starting to do that reversal and on the 17th it confirmed it the 18th it consolidated and it continued on friday and um it's been above the 50-day moving average and let's remove this circle so you guys aren't confused by it i don't want you guys to get confused by the circle and we're going to look at something here in just a moment so this is a closer moving average much closer than the 50 day and you can see here that on the 18th it started to kind of bounce off of it and then it got close to it today today in the morning you needed to watch this closely based off how it acted you would have known and felt by the indication where this is going. So every time it's been pushing off of it, it gets close to it and pushes off of it. So we need to watch now. It's actually pushed off of it significantly. And the last couple hours of the day, there was some large orders here. I mean, 75,000, 50,000, 60,000. Those are pretty big compared to the sell orders. There was only sell orders of like 50 and 29. Now there was selling going on in between all of this, by the way, right? But when they're green bars, most of it, has been buying more than selling and then in the red bars i like calling them sell orders because selling orders dominated in those two bars and that was like a small amount of only seventy thousand. when we got 75 here and 60 here these two already canceled that out but why did that run so fast well 
all these indicators would have shown you that, and that's great. But the main thing that really stood out to me about the whole entire chart and the stock overall is the fact that they had a short interest, right? And it started on November 30. If they haven't updated this, they should have updated this for the 15th. But it's showing us here that they got four days, basically, and a half to cover. And their price on record at the short interest was 1210. So then we go over here at the short interest today. It was only a short interest volume of 1 million. And you can see here that the market volume was 14 million. The total amount of short interest, right, was 28 million. So half of this has already been bought back, basically based off of what we see here. 1 million was short volume, 13 million was buy volume. So that's a really small percentage. You can see here 12%. Very interesting. Very, very interesting to see this and the short volume was just smaller and smaller last week and you could see that things started turning around around this point today's short volume was a little bit larger i guess they're anticipating or they're preparing or kind of looking at it both ways if this continues to run there might be a fall but the most interesting thing is right here the total amount the total amount price on record and here we'll see it again you'll see that there's a total amount here of 28 million short interest. And here it shows us three days to cover. So I think that this is counting yesterday and or Friday. And then now this is actually up to date, three days to cover. So we have three more days for all this short interest to be covered. Now, I think a large portion of it has already been covered, but there's still about 50 to 60% of it that needs to be covered if this continues to run forcing these institutions that bought these 28 million short interests have to buy them back do you see and they bought at a record price of 1210 and look at this interesting thing so like when you put it all together it kind of makes sense 1210 is literally where this was at on the 18th and it started pulling up in that direction it wasn't there before so the the buying back you know wasn't yet there but it started rising up and from that point forward at 12 10 12 08 this took off and there's room for this to continue to take off so i find this very interesting i hope you guys do too um this is how i found this one you know coming across um, these indicators looking on my stock screener and then looking at the history of short interest and realizing that short volume today was low and 13 in volume of the 13 million could have been buys now all of it wasn't buys don't don't get me wrong or or don't you know quote me on the fact that 13 million was buying that was one million almost two million right in short volume which are preparing for the future in short and shorting this or in the near future i don't know what their exact uh days to cover it is for that but the other 13 million or let's just say 12 million of volume here were buying and selling and by the way the chart looks most of it was buying like you can see that here i mean it, it just ran up and that tells you that these institutional investors had to buy back their own shares and they still have three more days to cover it so that indicates that there's room and let me look it up here what was the total volume here see if i can find it here in my notes so the total volume here of buys was about 4 million. The total sell was 3 million. And then it's showing here a neutral amount of about uh, 2 million. So when you go off of those numbers, it's a little bit off compared to the total volume of shares. Um, I'm not sure if any of the other volumes kind of constitute or add to the fact of options and so forth. And then also the short volume and whatnot but for the most part there was more buying than selling going on and that's what we want to watch for tomorrow and moving forward and keep in mind that they have three days to cover this total 28 million in volume they're showing here that they shorted 1 million today but the market volume was 14 million and 
here we are again at the price record of 1210 the 28 million right there and that's a 30 percent float and i think that's going to go lower and that's what we want to watch for and it's going to put pressure on these institutions so far the pressure is being seen we're going to have to see how much more pressure they get i hope again once again you guys find this video helpful and informative if you guys do and you're a first time viewer i highly recommend subscribing i'm going to do these videos weekly i can't wait to see your guys's comments down below on what you think about this tomorrow so i'm going to put the task on you guys to check this out throughout the week and let's come back and discuss it here in the comments let's discuss about it tomorrow uh as soon as you see it if it continue to break out what do you think is going to happen next and we're going to look through it for the rest of the week i want this to be more of a video that the group and the whole entire community here of invest for tomorrow and first time viewers come across this and we kind of discuss about this throughout the week because these are going to be stocks that we're going to talk about early on in the week monday mornings i said it already like 8 a.m to 9 a.m and have everything ready before the market opens i'm going to do my best every single day before things start rocking and rolling and you guys start watching and seeing for yourselves and we'll look at the indicators and so forth and you guys can go from there um, whether you want to paper trade it or just watch on the sidelines that's up to you you have to do your due diligence and research and rationalize based off of what you see as an investor and then talk about it over the week so again if you're a first time viewer awesome that you came across this i look forward to seeing your guys's comments and subscription and joining the community and all the investors and viewers that are subscribed i look forward to seeing your guys's feedback on this and looking forward to seeing what you guys think about it and to every single viewer and investor thank you guys so much for watching share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video so before we go away i want to mention one more time the support here at 1289 and then also our resistance up here at 1387 you want to watch these numbers for tomorrow thank you guys so much